All right, yes. Final Frontier. I've been waiting a while to get my hands on this game. So, this game just came out on Early Access. And it's a colony slash city builder, similar to Banished. If you've seen some of my Banished stuff on my channel. Um, so I skipped a lot of the, uh, the beginning stuff for you guys, uh, where you kind of choose your map and your difficulty. So I just went with the medium difficulty on everything and um, chose the Lowland Lakes map. Um, which is supposed to be one of the easier ones, I think. I think low, maybe because it's got more food, maybe more fertile land, like this all looks fertile. Uh, okay, there's a wolf den, like, right at the beginning. I guess we can pick anywhere. I could just go over here instead. I kind of wanted to build on this hill thing, because it's kind of, kind of neat. Hmm, but I don't like that wolf den being right there because I'm going to want to build down into here for our farms and stuff. So it looks like there's a good amount of clay. More clay. See, I think because this is lowlands, you don't really get... Um, you don't get the mountains and the iron and stuff. I mean, I'm sure it's here. It's just not as abundant as a, on a mountainous map. This lake is huge. Alright, well, I'm going to make this kind of fun and... Who knows, it might be the demise of my people, but... I'm going to build over here on this hill and... We will deal with that wolf den later so I have watched some of the other um, videos on this game um, there are a group of more established youtubers that got a pre early access release of the game so that they could play it before all the rest of us I watched a few of those, um, not really enough to know what I'm doing necessarily, but okay, so I'm kind of thinking like this will kind of like we'll wall this off eventually and this will be sort of like a fortified position where like our storage and stuff because when people try to ransack our town they go for like your storage buildings and stuff like that so I might put the town center down here yep we'll go with this let's get it started all right and our people get to work right away um, harvest resources so they harvest the stuff. I don't want to do bushes or berries just yet. But I do want to clear all this off eventually. Get some of that stone too. So kind of take on this whole hillside. We're going to have to be careful going over that way because we're going to attract the wolves. Might need to get some hunters down pretty early. Okay, well I don't think that you can, yeah, you can't, it doesn't let you, oh, you can put these down. Okay, cool. I thought that you couldn't really do anything until your, uh, your town center was built. Um, 
One of the other things that I learned, unfortunately, about the game is, so it's, it is built on a grid system. You can do roads at 45 degree angles. So it's like right here, you've got this, and then you can go perpendicular to that. But with roads, you can also go diagonal. With the fences, you cannot. So when we build our fences to fences and then upgrade them into walls to protect our area up here, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do it this way and then this way. Like we can't just like cut across at an angle. At least that I'm aware of. Maybe maybe that's changed in this build, but it didn't seem like in the videos that I saw that you could do fences at a forty five degree angle. Let's get a well down early. That's important. That one's got a real nice bonus. So we can plop these things down, but nobody's going to build any of it until we have res the resources, which we do not. Probably want some houses. Um, what were the oh food? That's what I wanted. I wanted to probably put a hunter's cabin down. I think because even if we don't go near that den, the wolves might wander over this way. Oops, I'm so used to hitting R to rotate the buildings, and because that's what it is in Banished, so it's tab here, tab to rotate the buildings. So one of the things that's kind of convenient, although a little funky, and I'm not sure how much I like it, but is you can, so if I plop this hunter's thing down right here, and then in the future, I don't like it being there. Like you can, you can move it. I think it has to be built first, and then you get a little button that says that it allows you to move the building. Which isn't very realistic, but it is convenient. So I'm just going to put these forager and the hunter back to back. And I'm going to put houses. Oh, we can't build the house till we get the town center. Maybe that's what it was. Alright, well, we're going to let that work then. Now let's up. We can go up to three. Okay, we'll do three for a little bit, and if that gets to be too fast, we'll bump it down to two. I think one's going to be too slow for me, but let's see. See how it goes. So that's funny. They're going to have these things built, yep, before the town center. Oh, yeah, so we need to think about where our industry is going to be. Crap. I'd like to put it out here. I don't want to put it on the fertile land. I think there's... Let's check the controls real quick. Should be able to turn these things on. Water, fertility, F. F, okay. So yeah, that's what I thought. Is our fertile land is over this way, so that's where our farms will go. And then over there is less fertile, which sounds like it'd be good for our undesirable buildings. That's cool that it's a toggle. And you don't have to select the right type of building. Like, I just picked the house, so it shows us the desirability, I think, is what this one is. It's kind of a long ways away, huh? But I kind of maybe want to put like our barracks and storage stuff back in here too, so. One of those there. And maybe another one right next to it. We'll just build those two for now. So we don't have a wood splitter. Do we have a 
hunter or can oh, okay we do have a hunter so this feature is cool um, banish doesn't have this retarget building work radius so even though your hunter's building is right here you're not fixed to him hunting in this area you can pick this and go someplace else like if I go over here he's gonna wander out that way and probably get the attention of the deer um, so there's some deer here so I'm gonna put this here and I think he will get the attention of the wolves that's okay um, here's that button I was talking about relocate uh, building location all right let's let this play our is this done it is done, and that bell sound effect is very loud. Okay, so our people don't look happy, do they? They probably just need housing is all. Let's put this road straight on through. Okay, forgers up, and we can move their work location too. Um, plenty of food. Three chevrons, I'm guessing, means more. So that looks like a pretty good place to forage. Eggs, herbs. Are herbs food, or are herbs medicine so we can get those eggs too over by the forager right there for with this one I think this will be pretty good housing shortage firewood is low that's right we need the fire but I was concerned about putting it to close to the wolves so I want to go this way um, where is that I should do a fishing shack too where's firewood oh wood splitter I thought I rolled over that already all right well I think if we keep it down here it'll be far enough away from our houses like it, uh, our houses aren't built yet but this will lower the desirability of the homes. So for now, I'll just put it right there. And now we'll put down a uh, fishing. And we don't have any fishing nodes over here. I definitely don't want to make him get too close to the wolves. Put it right there. Storage cart. We can move this around. it that way okay we got one house up but the water oh they want water because the wells not built yet we don't have any stone we do want to get the stone up as soon as we can set a little explore point over here because I was thinking if I'm gonna have my housing back here that we should have another well back here blueberry bush we can move those um, I'm having trouble focusing where's our water resources water
So a couple more explore points. So yeah, these blueberry bushes have a neat mechanic where you can actually like move, transplant the plant itself. So we could get them to move that within our forager's radius and then that's just more food that our forager can, can pluck. And since we don't have a forager over this way, I'm gonna go ahead and queue that up to happen right now. Alright, so our wood cutter is cutting. Our housing is still low. We've got two houses. Um, we should queue up another one then. like to get some of that area cleared but I guess if they're busy like doing other tasks they can only do so much villagers unhappy villagers homeless all right well I think if we've got two homes so we've got capacity for eight, then that means the third home should cover the remaining four people. Okay, I'm working on it. Oh dear, it's already... Oh, we've got tons of food. Months of food, but most of it's going to spoil. It's like we're getting... I'm going to drop down to two. It's like we're already into autumn. Like we're getting into winter pretty quick. Um, hmm don't want the food to spoil and there's buildings for that but I doubt we have them unlocked storage the root cellar you need a stockyard there yeah, blueberry bushes transplanted okay um, we need a stockyard should be under storage, which I just had open. More people wait word to join your settlement. A massive four months supply of food. We have that. And six houses. So we need two more houses and we can gain four people. Alright, we'll put that there. And let's queue up our other... Oh wait, no, I only did three houses, so we need three more. Um, we definitely have the logs for it, so... Oh, the slope's too steep. Alright, I think... Flattened terrain, yeah, you can... You can work with that. Stockyard. There's another one, a smokehouse, I think. Oh, okay, we can get the smokehouse right away, and it does fish and meat. And since we have a hunter and a fisherman, I uh, should probably get the smokehouse up right away. She's coming over here to pluck these herbs, and I just saw a wolf over here. Is this our hunter? It is. 
He's currently hunting, but it looks like all the deer are gone. Boar sighted. Yeah, see, these are wolves. Oh, I can just tell him to attack. Uh-oh, I'm probably going to get my guy killed. Oh, whoa, he made short work of him. I should have just let him do that. Instead of running. Ah, yes, he already spoiled some meat. It took too, it took too long. How are we doing on our houses? I'm gonna try this out, flatten the terrain. I bet it's gonna take, yep, it does take work time. So 150 labor points. Do the same thing over there. Save game. Auto save. The graphics are so cool. No pun intended. Did we get our well built? Okay, we did. I'm gonna build that other one now that we've explored over here. I want one closer to the homes. Let's uh, slope. Alright, I'm going to put that one there. Okay, stock house is built. Oop. So let's build that root cellar. Storage. Root cellar and a storehouse. there. Continue our road here. I don't really want to destroy these eggs. So hopefully that will be okay. Try and do some organic building just because it looks cool. But I don't want to keep my people busy with that too much. I'd like them to be doing other things like cutting down these trees. So, did this stuff get flattened? Doesn't really look like it, does it? But yeah, it's obstructed by. Oh, it's too close to the other building. Can we fit a house over here? We can. And make them a little bit offset. Well, it looks like we survived our first winter. That's nice. With plenty of food. some extra road there. Grab a drink of water. So how many of you guys have picked this game up too. I should uh, I should probably leave a link in the description for the Steam page. So it looks like I um, I placed my town center backwards. And 
the town center is not a building that you can move. I uh, had intended for it to be facing this direction, but oh well, it doesn't really matter, I don't think. It's kind of an aesthetic thing, but this is fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. So fences, walls and roads. Fences just take logs. Well, I don't think I need that yet. I kind of want to, just to get a feeling for how this will look. The sand pit is kind of in the way. How's our firewood doing? Firewood looks pretty good. So we should... Hmm. I kind of want to get rid of those wolves. I think I might create a second hunter shack just to send them both in there. I don't know if they can take out a den though. Kind of. I think there was a tool tip or something that um, said that like you can build an army at the barracks and issue a command for the army to attack wolf dens. So I don't think that one hunter alone can do it. So... I don't know, but it seems like this hunter has already scared off all the deer that he can hunt, so... Maybe they can work together and kill some boar and some wolves. I'll pop that down there. What's this? This building's storage is full. The fish. Well, can you put some of the fish in the smokehouse? Oh, we're out of stone. What are these? Blueberries. Let's get those moved too. And that looks like all the blueberry bushes. I like that road. It's so cool. Alright, um, well if the hunter can't get meat... Okay, now we've got two hunters. So can I just pause, shift click them? No. How do I control multiple? Control click. Shift click, nope. Um, control shift click, nope. I guess you just have to maybe grab them one at a time and issue the commands. It's kind of lame. All right, sweet. All right, you guys, I'm gonna bring you out here to sort of look around a little bit because we need this is way too much micromanaging that I don't want to do but it's kind of fun let's see where these boars are so I also saw a tool tip that they they won't just attack boars on their own, like it's not part of what you can hunt, but you can issue them to attack them. What's that? That's boar. Boars are territorial animals that pose a danger to villagers that wander too close. Provides meats, hides, and tallow if butchered by a hunter. The 
that's what we're looking for. Uh oh. Don't run into those wolves. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. But there's wolves, too. I'm hoping that I'm not getting too close to the wolf den. Alright, well, maybe that'll be good. That's enough micromanaging. Say I neglected my town. Hunters haven't found any game for a while. Consider moving their hunting grounds. Blueberries. Let's set an explore point out here. A couple of them. And if hunting isn't doing well for food, then we should probably put down a crop field because it I think the, the fields take a while to build. Six by six. Yeah, look at the cost of labor hours, over 1,500. We'll plop it down. It gives people something to do. Our food stocks are low. Um, maybe I should put another forge or down too. And there's so much water. I mean, there's no reason that I shouldn't be... Um, putting down tons of fish. I got the uh, six houses. So the people have arrived. And I will accept them. Bustling market would help generate gold and attract new settlers to our growing town. S markets stock houses and generate gold based on the number of houses in their work area. Okay. So markets. So adding those people are, is good because now we can get some more workers. Blueberry bush. So there another one? Yeah, right here. Okay, so that should be within, yep, within this forager's radius. And as soon as this other forager is built, where do we want to put them? Well, there's a bunch of stuff here, greens. Okay, so our people came out here and explored. And honestly didn't uncover much. Predator sighted. Everybody, everybody chips in. All right, that's finished. Oh, it was waiting for resources. I thought it was on the build hours. Okay, here we go. Now that that's down, I can move the work area. Let's see, how much of this can we get? Lots. Okay, good. We'll do that. Where did I move? Oh, yeah, you, um, you can't do any fishing like that, can you? I don't, uh, fishing areas, 30%. Fishing productivity is 130. 140% here. Looks like it's going to be, what about out here at the point? 13 fishing areas for 150. That is the best, but his travel time is a bit too far. 
We'll do 140 right there. Maybe I should cure, queue up the harvesting of these stones. We don't have many stones. So we got a lot of these trees queued up, but I keep giving the laborers other stuff to do, so they can't get anything done. Um, storehouse. Let's build one of those. I think you need these for a prerequisite for other buildings in the future. Looks like a cool spot. So what else do we have unlocked? So that's our storage. Housing. Graveyard. We haven't had anybody die yet, so we'll wait to build that. Got the smokehouse. Two fishermen, two foragers, two hunters. Okay, so saw pit. I think you need the saw pit to build some of these other things. Ooh, a compost yard. Yeah, I see you need a saw pit for that. We need that before. Um, uh, the saw pit has really bad desirability debuff, so you can see how bad it is if you put it right next to your housing. Let's see, where do we want to put it? Look at that wolf den. It's literally right here. I think it's just going to keep producing wolves, unfortunately. Well, we'll put the sawmill right next to the stockyard. That makes the most sense. So the saw pit will make planks for us, which I think we need for most of the stuff that we want to build um, from here on out. Still 1,200 labor hours. How are we doing on food? Only one month of spoilage and eight months of food. That's really good. I mean, I think. Um, oh, lovely. We're in year two, and we're getting a blizzard. I'm going to put down another house. Yeah, the storehouse looks cool there. I don't think the barracks... Yeah, you need tier 2 of the town center. We can put a lookout tower in, but... It costs gold, and it costs monthly gold. Oh, here's our blizzard. Pretty cool. Uh oh, we got some spoilage. Three, three berries, three whole berries. I really want to get rid of that wolf den. I really do. But I don't know if two hunters is enough. Maybe we could try it. But I heard you need the army in order to take out wolf dens, and we're not going to have an army for a while. This wolf is getting awfully close. So your fields can't be constructed during winter time. You have to have to wait. 
Alright, so we put down that other house. It's still being constructed. What else can we add? We put in our fences now. Um, we don't have an extreme amount of logs, but they are supposed to be chopping down more of this stuff. I don't want it to be through the middle of the sand pit. Maybe like this. Along the hill there. Sure, we'll do that. It only costs one log per fence, but... Alright, well, I think I'm going to put a cut in here. 40 berries spoilage. And still not finding any game. So maybe we ought to send out some explorers to look some more, or go back out and get some more boar. Oh, I've got some I've got some time still. It just doesn't feel like we're adding anything right now. Maybe because it's winter. We could put down a graveyard. I mean like I said we don't really need it yet because thankfully we still have everyone with us. So F for fertility. I don't really want to put a graveyard out here where the land is the most fertile. So maybe over here closer to where maybe our industrial stuff will be. Oh, we need that compost. There it is. Wait, a compost yard costs gold per month? Oh, so you need a market first. Oh, and the market is active. We just don't have any planks. So I think you want the market to be over by your houses. And I didn't really think of that when I decided to... build up on this hill and put this road in at a diagonal. That's all right, we'll pop it down there. Uh, it's kind of outside of the radius. And we can put one up at the top of this hill. Hopefully we can build some more houses around it. So I'm gonna, can, you should be able to turn this off. Uh, yep. Yeah, we don't wanna do that one. We'll put it up here. What's this? Building does not have access to clean water. There's a well right here. Okay, maybe we'll grab those hunters again and one of them and there's the other one bring them out here and have them go after the boar again or 
Where's the other one? There she is. He's gonna need help. Oh, maybe not. Come back over here. Are there any more? Any more boars? Where do you think you're going? I think I've got a pretty good start here to my town. Yeah, the farm does take a while to get started, so not a bad idea to get that down pretty early. Um, we're doing good on food, we're okay on housing, getting our market down, so I'm gonna put a cut in here. Thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to be playing so much of this game, so if you're looking for more videos, please subscribe. You'll be finding more videos of this on my channel for sure. So I will uh, see you in the next one. Thanks again.